for that doo doo. Amen. Yes, it's being live streamed. Amen. Praise <laughs> God. Okay. And let's see what's happening here. All right. It says uh, that we are live okay. and living color. Yep. It's showing and up on my other computer. What's happening here? All right. It says that we are oh, live oh, oh, and living okay. color. Okay, yep. hold on. Let me, let, me, on my other let, me, let me let me let me mute this here. one. All right. It says that we amen. I, I'm I'm getting the the uh the feedback, <laughs> yes. Because you know, uh uh face the actual Facebook is about five seconds behind this one because you know it's transmitting okay. so just so we won't have feedback on the call mm -hmm. amen so we're live living color amen it, it, i don't know why it's doing this on this one too amen but we're ready to rock and roll we're ready to go amen mm -hmm. praise god so why don't we do this why don't we start with our opening word of prayer then after that, we'll move right into our Q&A session because I Amen. know Sean has a truckload of questions because he <laughs> has not had Bible study in the last several weeks, almost a month. So he's got a lot of questions to ask me. So I'm not even worried about that today. I came prepared for all your questions, Brother Sean. And then after that, after we've answered all your questions, we'll recap where we are because it's been a minute since we've been here. Yes, sir. And we and so we will uh, recap. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and open up with a word of prayer. Okay. Dear Father God, creator of the heavens and the earth, we come to you right now. Thank you for this day, for this is the day, God, that you made. We are glad. We are rejoicing in it. Father God, let us uh, be able to uh, learn something about you, to remember something old about you, to be reacquainted with your goodness, your grace, your mercy. Okay and your love. Father, forgive us of our sins. Anything that's going to keep us from drawing closer to you, God, we put, pray that you remove it from us as far as the east is from the west. And Father mm -hmm. God, we pray right now that for the next hour or so, you allow us to commune and fellowship with right. you through your Holy Spirit. Now, Father God, we love you. We thank you. We praise your holy name, God. We pray that your Holy Spirit continue to rest, rule, and abide, uh -huh. not only on this uh, uh, Bible study, Zoom meeting, but on our church, our members' lives, and the lives of those yes. persons that we're connected to. Thank you for Brother thank Sean you. and Sister Carol. Thank you. Thank you for everyone that's going yes, to Lord. come and be part of Bible mm -hmm. study today. Yes. Right. Uh, Father God, we someone uh, signed on as we started praying, God, and well, thank you for that thank individual you. too, God. We pray that you will continue to love us, continue to guide us, and be there for us. It's in your son's mm -hmm. mighty matchless, marvelous, and magnificent name that mm -hmm. we pray. Amen. 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 So, Brother Sean, go ahead. Yes. And, and share with me your questions that you've had that have been piling up over the last several weeks. Uh, you, uh, you, when you say questions, how about a question? That's a okay. 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 let's, let's start. Let's start with well, the question. That's, that's, that's and question. then what happened, uh, we'll, 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 br we'll break it down if we have to into small questions. How about that? That work? I guess, okay. Amen. I guess the most uh, discussed and debated issues in the Bible. Uh -huh. it, uh, that's probably disputed. It's probably argued. Uh, it's probably ignored. But uh, one of the things that I misunderstood, I believe, is the word tithing. Ha. Huh. Go ahead, Doc. Well, I'm sorry, but here, 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 here it comes. No, no, you're not, you're not, you're not upsetting me. I'm happy. Oh, you oh, I, oh I, I, I didn't say it to upset you, all right? But I'm pretty sure as few or as many people you talk to, uh, you'll probably get as few or as many responses, answers, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. I guess uh, there was verse uh, we don't know in the Old Testament, uh, I think in, uh, who knows, what do one of the, uh, oh, I forget where I have put it, but uh, uh, it, I think that's where it, uh, initially or first spoke about tithing. But also in the New Testament, in several several uh, books, it talks about uh, how we should uh, how we should provide, uh, what we should do, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, I guess if you tithing, I guess if uh, you're to ask most people, they say, "Yeah, tithe is ten percent of your earnings." 
that's probably what's going to be, in my opinion, one of the most general uh, definitions. Right. For tithing, right? right? But I don't believe uh, in this day and age, right, it goes or it should go beyond that. It should go mm-hmm. not only your money, but also your time, your effort, your talents, et cetera, et cetera. So, mm-hmm. And uh, there is, I guess, a couple of scriptures that I wrote down. For one, let me see. Okay. Uh, uh, First John 5 and 3. Pull that up quickly. Well, before I can, the, the, the things are probably quicker than mine. <laughs> it's all right, Doc. That's all right. Thank you. First John, five. Did you say five? Uh, First John five and three. Okay. Just turn, turn. Just turn to it. Okay. Here we go. Okay. okay. All right, I'm there. I think that's what it said. Let's see what it says. Let's see. Here's John. Oh, wait a minute. If I can get, get, get my, my, my fingers to work here. Hold on. I, I have First John 5 and 3 said, For the love of God is this, that we obey his commandments, and his mm-hmm. commandments are not burdensome. Mm-hmm. That, that, that's First John 5 and 3. Okay. And let's go to, I guess, another one here that I wrote down here. Uh, Corinthians 9, 6, and 7. Which one? First Corinthians or 2 Corinthians? Uh, first, Corinthians. first Corinthians uh 9, 6, and 7. Okay. Well, I'm I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm I'm I'm, I, I'm an old man. It, it takes me a little time to get there. Hey, Amen. My eyes don't work as well as they used to. You ain't seen <laughs> old yet. But anyway, <laughs> first, first Corinthians 9, 6, and 7. Yes, sir. All right. And so it reads, or is it only Barnabas and I who have no right to refrain from working for a living, who at any time pays the expenses for doing military service, who plants a vineyard and does not eat of its fruit, or tends a flock and does not get any of its milk? Okay. And last but not least, how about 2 Corinthians 9, 6, and 7? Maybe that's, yeah. Oh, okay. That's probably what it is. 2 Corinthians 9, 6, and 7. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So here, let me turn. 9, 6, and 7. This, the uh, reading from uh, the New Rise Center says, the point is this. The one who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and the one who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each of you must give as you have made up your mind, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. Amen. Praise God. Okay. So I guess my I guess my question is, all right, not my question, all right, uh, in regards to how many people you speak to, all right, you're going to get, if you speak to five people, you probably get different, five different definitions as to what that means, mm-hmm. how to speak with it, et cetera, et cetera, all right? I guess, mm-hmm. let me ask you, all right, how do you interpret that, especially that last Second Corinthians 9, 6, and 7? Well, okay. Oh, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. My, my, my wife has a point here. Go. Yes. I'm sure while you were on vacation, you heard about the latest teaching of Cleflo's dollar. No, no, no. Uh, uh-uh. uh, uh, uh. I, I don't, I don't follow Creflo. I don't keep up with him. So what, what did he do now? Nobody does, but it's everywhere. About he says he was wrong in teaching tithing. So mm-hmm. all of the preachers everywhere are preaching on should you tithe or not. So that's mm-hmm. what she's really saying. Okay. So so, he, mm-hmm. that's so, if you go anywhere, you'll see it. So so let, let me ask this question then. Okay. Mm-hmm. What about his teaching on tithing did he say he was wrong about teaching? Because he's he said a lot. So mm-hmm. just, for him just saying I was wrong on my teaching, does that mean he was wrong on everything, or or, or is it or he's wrong on everything? That's what he's saying. Yes, I'm tired. Okay, all right. He said he wrote plenty of books about it. He said just disregard it. So everybody's wondering if this is a new flim flam or something, and how he's going to make more money. But he said no, nope, he was wrong, and everything else. I didn't look at the whole thing. I think the whole thing was like an hour and a half. And I didn't look because there were so many places talking about it. But that's what prompts Sean's question to get it from you. Okay. Um, 
I'm, I'm going to be honest. Good. When you first hear about it and you listen to different other preachers and everyone got their own uh, perspective on it, which is what Sean was saying, it does make you go back and revisit it in your heart and in your mind. You know, but we're going to our pastor to get the answer. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Thank you. So Sean, let me answer your question because really that is a multiple, that question, even though you asked it singular has multiple parts or it could be a multiple, multiple questions. So first and foremost, before I say anything else about tithing, mm -hmm. the Bible demonstrates to us, especially this last scripture, second Corinthians chapter nine six, through six, six and seven tithing is relational right okay uh meaning exactly all right Again, I'm, I'm going to explain that okay. it, it 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 is relational in the sense of how you tithe should reflect the relationship you have with god jesus the holy spirit okay mm -hmm. All of us live in a time, in a day, where God does not just give us 10% of the blessings he has. If we're going to be honest, he gives us 1,100% of the blessings that he has. I think, I, I think we do him a disservice when we say 220. Because, you know, 220 is the latest thing. We say 110%. Now we're saying 220, 20%. I think it's 1,100%. All yeah. right. So, so 10 times uh, what we think is the best. Because the truth is our God goes beyond, above and beyond for each of us. All right. So give you an example. Uh, unfortunately, this week, I had a little fender bender. I ran into the back of... Uh, oh, uh, it, it, it's all right. Well, it wasn't. It wasn't major, but that's getting to the testimony. It, was, it, it wasn't major. Right, right. The the other driver wasn't hurt. In fact, right, his, right. His, his car had absolutely no damage because his <laughs> car his car is steel. My okay. car my car is plastic. So you know right. all my plastic have been up. Yeah, but, right. but again, the, the car drove home, started up, no problem. I was kind of watching my yeah. gauges to make sure nothing was getting hot or anything. Right. And, and, and and again, no and no apparent injury to me, no apparent injury to the other driver, and no injury to anybody else. Okay, right. so just in that situation, I have seen accidents where the car is so mangled that the only way to get people out of the car is to get the jaws of life. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, I have seen car accidents where once they got the jaws of life and cracked it open they really should have kept it closed because what they saw when they cracked it open did not resemble anything human anymore i do understand yes yep. i have seen car accidents where it wasn't the ambulance that came to pick up the body it was the uh, mortician oh, i understand so I'm saying that to say, even though I may not like that I had an accident this week, yes, sir. God's grace and mercy was mm -hmm. such that the accident was minimal. I do understand. Minimal, where I suffered no injury, the other driver mm -hmm. suffered no injury, no property damage, and we mm -hmm. both were able to walk away from it. I understand, yes, sir. Okay. okay. Now, knowing what he's done for me, mm -hmm. Why then would I give him a ten, fifteen, twenty dollar tithe? <laughs> yes, sir. Hey. Yes, sir. He, he saved my life. Yes, he did. Protected and kept me. Right. And the only gratitude I can give him is ten dollars, fifteen dollars, twenty dollars. Understand, sir? Yes, sir. Right. I hear people telling me all the time that they love God. Right. Sean, yeah, I'm not as old as you are, sir. Uh, right. My clock has not been ticking that long, okay? Mm -hmm. right. but, it, but it's been ticking long enough to uh, observe. Mm -hmm. I've seen a whole lot of people tell me that they love Christ and Jesus and love God, but their actions do not line up with it. Uh, yep. 
And it's not, and, and what we have to get out of our mind is tithing is just not tithing your money. Understand. That's the next thing. Mm-hmm. It's your time, your talent, and your treasure. Mm-hmm. We're so caught up with the treasure because right, right. We, we think the church is asking us to give it some of our money. Mm-hmm. Let, let, listen to how that says we are upset because the the church is asking oh. us to give it some of our money <laughs> yeah last time i checked many of us are just barely hanging on at work yes sir I hear you. the whole reason why you had the job you didn't have a job to begin with you begged and pleaded with god to give you the job he gave you the job then you messing you pooping around on the job so you're right. barely holding on and now you got the nerve to open your mouth and say that someone wants your money that's right sir Last time I checked, the job was a resource. Right, right. right. It was doing doing the source over again. That's what, whenever you put re in something, it means to do it again. Yeah. So when we say restore, we mean to rebuild, to build again. Right. Renew, to make new again, to recycle, to cycle again. Right. You know, to replenish, to provide and plenish again. Your job is not a source. (laughs) Get so mad when people want to ask. No, your job is not a source. It's a. It's the means in which God uses to bless you. But please understand that everything belongs to God. Psalmist says that the world and it everything in its fullness in in it belongs to God. That means every red penny that you get as a salary. Yes, sir. So. If tithing is relational, then tithing is not simply about your treasure. Right. Okay. It's also about your time mm-hmm. and your talent, i.e., ability, gifts, yes. skills. Yes. Mm-hmm. So this is why I go back to the statement saying I hear people tell me all the time about how much they love God, but they give him no time. They share none of their <laughs> talents with him. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I hear you. Sean, Sean, I know I know you can't sing. I know you can't sing. You and me are in the same group when it comes to singing. Or uh, got that yeah. guy. All right, got, okay. Say what what'd you say, Doc? Said, nah, that, that's all right. That's okay, Doc. That's all right. You and you and I are called to pray <laughs> and, and teach. All right. We're not called to sing. Okay. All right. We it, I, I'm good with it. I'm good with it. I'm not upset about it. I don't want you to be upset with it either. No, no. I'm upset. no. But one thing that <clears throat> burns me up and it's not just about our church it's about all churches mm-hmm. you'll have people sitting in the pews with the talent the skill the gifting that we need to mm-hmm. make worship make discipleship mm-hmm. make christian education make fellowship go to the next level and you'll sit there mm-hmm. talking about i ain't got time <laughs> I don't sing all my life. I don't want to sing no more. <laughs> you know, yeah, 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 yeah. And then when it's offering time, y'all here, y'all take this little funky ten dollars and go home, be happy with it. Yes, sir. Now, I, I think I said before the average individual. According to the 2020 census, makes forty two to forty five thousand dollars. Yeah. Okay. I, now I get it. Some of us make less. Hello. Yeah. Some of us make more. Hello. Yeah. But the average. So let's just deal with the average. Okay. You are making anywhere between forty two to forty five thousand dollars a year. Mm-hmm. If nothing else. Your tithing should be a minimum of ten mm-hmm. percent. Mm-hmm. Right. That right. that that that's that's Malachi because I was waiting. I was one of you going to give me these scriptures. That's Malachi chapter three. That's Genesis. Uh, is it twenty? It's either just before. It, it is just before. It's twenty nineteen okay. or twenty before Abraham is called to sacrifice Isaac on top of Mount Sinai um, uh, where he runs into uh, Mel, Melchizedek 
and the other king and Abraham makes a, gives him a tithe. Okay. Uh, fast forward in Genesis again. Jacob does that. He gives a tithe. He gives 10%. Uh, 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 who else did 10%? Several characters mm -hmm. have done 10%. So, so in the Old Testament, it's a, a straight 10. Right, I understand. The pro I think the problem why Paul has not given you a number is that for some people, ten percent of anything is not doesn't hurt you. I understand. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. So, so guess what, Sean? You, you and I hit the hit the one point seven two. Yes. Sir. Come on now. Come on now. We we split that a little more than five hundred million dollars. Right. Yeah. So. Uh, g giving a fifty million dollar tie doesn't hurt you. I hear you, right? It's right. gonna hurt me because we got four hundred fifty million more dollars to live off of. I understand, yes, sir. You know, and I, I'm sure both our wives are not gonna let us be that foolish and burn it up in a weekend. Okay, both our wives. Right, yes, yes sir. <laughs> oh, 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 oh! You ought to listen to what Chris Rock said. Uh, being rich. You can lose it in a weekend at Vegas with a drug at drug addiction. Being wealthy, it takes several generations, all right, yeah. to blow through it. Uh, it, it here's the persons have won lotteries before and are broke in two weeks. So, yes. so yeah. you know, uh, but but anyway, I, I say all that to say if we have won that lottery and we both gave 50 million as our tithe, we ain't hurting. That's right. The light's still gonna be on. Uh, we still going to eat well. Yes, sir. We still going to be outside the elements. We still mm -hmm. going to drive everywhere we go. We ain't walking unless we want to walk around the neighborhood. Uh, amen. We still going on vacations with our wives. Mm -hmm. But if I only made $10 today, sure. and I'm not going to make anything else for another four weeks, yes, Lord Jesus. $1 hurts me. Yes, sir, I, I hear you. It is substantial. Surely, surely it is. Because now I'm left with $9 right. to survive an yes. entire month. Mm -hmm. So what I think why Paul, Paul does not give us a number on tithing mm -hmm. is because he wants us to tithe in relation yes. to the favor grace and mercy that God has shown us oh, no. yeah. Amen. Sure. more favor more tithing I hear you yes sir now however you tithe however you tithe mm -hmm. because guess what you may not have any money to tithe but you got time sure. trust Tell me it. if you can find the time to sit home and binge a whole season mm -hmm. you got the time to come down to church and help out I understand. Yes, sir. If you got the time, time to watch episode one, two, and three of the Housewives reunion show, you got time to come down to church. Let me come down to Brothers Lane. If you got time to watch mm -hmm. the games from the one o'clock game uh, all the way to the eight o'clock game at night, that's 12 <laughs> hours. That's almost 12 hours. Uh, all right. yes, sir. You got time to come down to church. I understand. Yes, sir. You got time to take folks to the Little League game, to practice mm -hmm. the piano. You got time to come to Bible study. I understand. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. In fact, I bet you there are people right now that are doing nothing but sitting around eating lunch, talking, that could be right here at Bible study with us. I hear you. Yes, sir. Yep. God could be feeding them spiritually right now. Totally. But I yes, guarantee you, the mm -hmm. first time the ish hits the fan, you know what the ish is. Yes, sir. They're going to burn your number up trying to find me. Sean, I, I, I called Pastor Al. I saw he put the number on the announcements. But when I called him, he didn't answer the right. I, I I need him to help me. I know. Uh, uh, my, 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 my landlord uh, right. is trying to evict me. That's right. Yes, sir. Hey, yes, sir. Hey, yeah. Hey, yes, sir. Here it is, God, God. Here it is. You, you, you. For everyone else, you showing off. Mm -hmm. You building all these masterpieces of art, but God just wants you to fix the hole right there 
where the where the two sides of the roof come together. This this fits it. Take you 10 minutes. You can't mm-hmm. do that, but here it is. You building back your debts on people's back of their houses and pools <laughs> and all that. Yes, sir. You can't Thank get you God, you can't get God none of your talent. We understand. Mm-hmm. Tithing is relational. That's why Paul <laughs> says the point is this. The one who sows sparingly will reap sparingly. The one who sows bountifully will reap bountifully. Each of you must give as you have made up your mind, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful forgiver. In other words, the more, you know the old song, you can be God giving, no matter how you try. The more you give, the more he gives to you. So keep on giving because you know it's true. You can't beat God's giving. That that is an old song that speaks to a truth. Yes, sir. Notice the lyrics of the song is you can't beat God, you can't beat God's give God giving 10%. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. And you can't beat God giving, God's giving. It's, and what the song is really trying to say to you is it may hurt you mm-hmm. to go above and beyond what you normally give well, to give God. Mm-hmm. But but you do realize how it ain't hurting God mm-hmm. to turn around and bless you. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Yep. The word says that the Lord our God is the owner of of hills, a thousand hills right. mm-hmm. of right. cattle. That's right. Um, re, for our, on our vacation, we drove up to Indianapolis and then to Chicago. Mm-hmm. And driving up there, like I've done when I've gone to Ohio, I've had to go through those mountains. Mm-hmm. And usually I go through them in the wintertime. So it's black or wet bark yeah, yeah. Yeah. because of the snow. Mm-hmm. But this time is summertime. You couldn't right. see the bark sure, sure. because the trees are in full bloom. Mm-hmm. The, uh, the branches full green leaves. Mm-hmm. The funny thing, the only way you knew there was a mountain under that because there were trees on there. You had to trust and believe that there's a mountain under there. <laughs> and those trees weren't really that tall. And, and, I, and I laughed when I saw that recently. I said, God, this is an even better analogy. Because at least in the wintertime, you can see something of the mountain. Mm-hmm. Nice. And so, you know, the devil just needs a little room to play with. I know. Well, Pastor Al, if I can see something on the mountain, that means it's really not infinite because, you know, that means there's a finite number. Well, here's the thing. I can see nothing on the mountain now. Right, 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 right. And in my mind, that's how I see it. I envision that scripture about being the owner of a thousand mountains full of cow- cattle. Mm-hmm. so many cows on the mountain you can't see the yeah. mountain for the cows that's an economic reference mm-hmm. so if he owns that kind of wealth and here it is you ain't even got a cow mm-hmm. <laughs> you got you got one good sheep one good goat and a bunch of chickens right and god is asking you to give up one of those right yeah, yeah it gonna hurt you but baby, you about to get some cows. You about to get a flock of cows. Right. You about yeah. to become wealthy. Mm-hmm. And, and, and the thing is, we just don't get it. Yeah, we don't understand. We 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 only want to give God a tiny little bit, uh, and then want to trip when He's slow to answer our <laughs> prayers. I'm not. I'm about saying God bases His godship on how how you, uh, how much you put in. But I think he does base his gossip on how you demonstrate how much he means to you. Mm-hmm, right. How much you love him, yeah. Sean, you got a daughter? I got two. Mm-hmm. Them little bigger boobs. I, 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 had, I, I had, you know, Sean, Carol, you don't know nothing about this. Is you, 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 you ain't, you, you, you were the daughter. But I yeah. had to hide my wallet from myself sometimes, Sean, <laughs> because I'm, I love them so much and they do things that make me so happy that I just, I just feel like throwing money at them. Hey, yes, sir. <laughs> you know, I just feel like here, take, take, take. And I used to hear my friends talk about it all the time. Wait till you have girls. Right, right, right. Whatever, yeah. whatever. 
they 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 know they are daddy's baby. Oh yeah, I understand. Sure, I understand. I mean, that's not to say TK isn't. I understand. Yeah. Okay. But they know they are. They got daddy wrapped around their fingers mm -hmm. and whatnot. Now, okay. if that's how I feel about my daughter, George. and really feel that way about TK too. I I, I do understand. understand. How you think God feels about us when we are constantly sowing into Him, constantly? calling on him, constantly declaring our faithfulness, constantly sharing our time and our talent with him. How do you think he feels? Enjoyed. Oh, yeah. I remember hearing this one minister say, oh, God, too. He said, uh, uh, oh, oh, what? oh, okay, I'm sorry. Close my door. Uh, he's, he, because my, my baby is on a Zoom call, too. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, or my voice, excuse me. <laughs> but, but, I, but I remember this one minister, old cat too. Mm -hmm. And he shared one Sunday, I was a little boy, and it just blew my mind. And he was talking about this scripture right here. Mm -hmm. He said that him and his wife can't get the money out of their hands before God is blessing them. Really? Okay. Like he, they, 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 they have lived, they paid off all the bills. So they, <laughs> they, have, they have a lifestyle of giving. And so they're constantly giving mm -hmm. to different organizations, to different people, <laughs> blessing them as the people have need. Mm -hmm. And he said that, that he could barely get the money out of his hand before mm -hmm. someone was bringing him more money saying, hey, I don't know why I need to bring you this money, but he <laughs> Here's his money. And, and he said that the money brought was always exponentially greater than the money given. He gave. <laughs> oh, that's some of the blessings of the Lord, sir. Hey, hey, I have gotten to the point now that I'm old enough to verify that he was not lying. No, I believe that. That, that, that there are times when I, it does hurt to give, but God <laughs> said, give it anyway. That's right, sir. And I'll give it. Yeah. And my God, will he not give it back to me exponentially greater? I believe that. Yeah. Than what I gave out. I gave out. So my my this so my my statement on tithes is this. We all should be tithing. Mm -hmm. Notice I didn't say must. Because mm -hmm. I don't ever want tithing to become a yoke on someone's neck. Mm -hmm. Tithing should be an outpouring and expression mm -hmm. of how much you love God and are thankful for what he's done for you. Yes. So if you are grateful for anything he's done for you, grateful for the pork and beans, grateful yeah. for the hot dogs, grateful for the PB&J, grateful right. I, I know you may be waiting on Mr. Wright and Mrs. Mm -hmm. Wright, but you're right. grateful that right now you can sit at home and read your book and be in peace. You yep. ought to demonstrate that by yep. how, how you share your time, your talent, and your treasure with God. God, amen. Yes, sir. Thank you. And again, I don't know what uh, Creflo has said, but I, I, you know, if, if he's saying he taught it wrong, I'm going to assume he was teaching it absolutely wrong because, again, I don't pay him any attention. Okay. Uh, uh, you know, I, 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 I question that brother's intent. I, many yeah. times. Mm -hmm. And so, but, but it, it, but guess what? What's that? Uh, uh, one of the criminals on the cross got right at the very last minute. So it did. So who's to say that God ain't You're got, right. last got minute. Camp in the hustle right? At, right? at the last minute. I hear you. So, but yeah, that's my take okay, on appreciate the tithing. Appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Man. And like I said, we all should be tithing. Amen. Thank you. In fact, let me say this. Let me say this. So mm -hmm. Christmas time comes. Yeah. You mess with Sean. Sean, you are a husband. You know as well as I do. There are certain dates we do not forget as husbands. Yes, sir. We do not forget birthdays at all. We yes, do sir. not forget anniversaries. Okay. We yeah. do not forget Valentine's Day. Yes, we sir. do not forget Christmas. Okay. And we do not forget any other day that's going to make her feel special. That's all year long. Okay. 
<laughs> Amen. Yes, sir. Uh, at least on four of those five occasions. Yeah. Just, yes, sir. You better not, huh? <clears throat> not only must you not forget to demonstrate your love to your wife, your bride. Amen. Praise God. But what and how you demonstrate it Amen. has consequences too. Mm-hmm. Okay. Amen. I hear. All right. Okay. Uh, I. Uh, uh, um, I believe that Sister Carol is a woman of integrity. Mm-hmm. You can't tell me otherwise. Hey. If I, 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 I would slap someone in the mouth if they tried to say otherwise. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you're welcome. Amen. I am, I am thoroughly convinced that God has shown me that you are a woman of integrity. Being a one woman of integrity, I do not think. Which one was you looking at her like that? No, she said. <laughs> she said, I don't know where you got that from. Yeah, she say thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Cause I, I got it from God. If you don't <laughs> like it, take it up with God. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 no, never mind. No, never mind. <laughs> Sean, Sean, don't get yourself in trouble. I, 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 I have no room at the house on any couch for you to come sleep. All right. You're going to have to stay there and That's bear right. that cross by yourself, brother. <laughs> yes, sir. Um, but being a woman of integrity, I do not ever believe that Sister Carol will tell you, Sean. That if you don't spend X amount of dollars on me, mm-hmm. you don't love me. I don't believe she'll ever say that. What I do believe, however, is that talk to her like that. Uh, <laughs> what, what, what I do believe, however, is that um, should you not take serious the opportunity to demonstrate your love to her, she's gonna have a problem. <laughs> Okay, so uh, uh, I was reading the book. Uh, what what is it? Uh, it's by Roger Igritz. Mm-hmm. Um, in fact, um, we were using it with the marriage counseling. Okay, and, and we're not in marriage counseling, marriage ministry. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, uh, I, I forgot the name of it, um, but in the book. He talks about how he knew his anniversary was coming up. Mm-hmm. He had prided himself on marking on his calendar and remembering right. that his, his anniversary. Typically, his wife had to remind him, you know what today is, right? It's our anniversary. So he, so the brother planned to get off work early, was going to go by the local drug store, yeah. get an get a anniversary card, get some flowers, mm-hmm. go home. You know, spend time with his wife on right. the anniversary. So he gets off early, goes to the dress store, gets a card, gets flowers, goes home. With a big Chester cat smile on his face, he <laughs> hands her the card. The, I mean, the, the the flowers and the card. Right, right. He notices, because she's smiling, he mm-hmm. notices all of a sudden her smile goes from smile to frown <laughs> in, less than, in less than one second. Okay. So he right. said, so so he said, what's wrong? You don't like the card? Mm-hmm. And she puts the car, she stuffs the car back in the envelope and right, she right. slams it back to his chest and walks away crying. Okay. He said, What? He said, yeah. Normally you have to fuss at me about anniversary. And she said, she said, evidently you didn't listen. He said, Why? Well, yes, I'm here. She said, then why did you get me a birthday card? He didn't pay attention. Okay. He was so busy thinking about something else. Right, right. So busy patting himself on the back that he remembered the anniversary. Right. And he brought right in the, the drugstore and bought a bought his wife a birthday card. Right. Instead of an anniversary card. Okay. And I know someone may be saying, well, Pastor, he gave him mm-hmm. uh uh-uh, uh. No, no. Hey. Yeah, mm-hmm. it ain't the same. Yeah, Jesus says 
you mm-hmm. who are evil know how to give good gifts to That's your right. family. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. What's a good gift? Mm-hmm. Uh, shouldn't a good gift be uh, e- occasion appropriate? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't want a Christmas a Christmas card on Valentine. I certainly don't want a Valentine's card on anniversary. I want the appropriate card. Yes, sir. and so does your wife. Mm-hmm. And so, Sean, when you are demonstrating celebrating your anniversary, it doesn't matter what you get her. Mm-hmm. What she's looking for the type of energy that you put into the gift. Let me let me give you another example of this. Folks will get mad. I don't care because you ain't teaching Bible study. If you don't like this example I'm about to use, then you come teach Bible study. Amen. Mm-hmm. On the Cosby show, uh, there was an episode where Heathcliff, Elvin, and Martin, the right. husband of Claire, Denise, and, and Sonia. I think that was her name, Sonia. Uh uh, were, were battling about who was the most romantic. Okay. And, and they had a bet where for no, they were going to see who was the most romantic. They were going to get gifts for their wives, but right, you right. could not spend more than $25. Okay. All right. Sound like Carol remembers this episode. Amen. And so, of course, uh, 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 not Rudy, but Olivia, uh, Raven Simone's character, finds out and tells the women. So the mm-hmm. women plan to pretend like they're not interested. Right, right. So what these brothers do, these brothers thought long and hard mm-hmm. on their gifts. On right, that $25. Right. So like Martin, Martin gave Denise a, uh, he gave her back this flower that she had in her hair when he met mm-hmm. her. Okay, okay. And so it cost him nothing. Mm-hmm. Right, but right. She right. didn't know he held on to the flower. He was talking about okay. how the first day he met her and how he knew she was one fell in love. Okay, wonderful. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, um, uh, for Denise, it was uh, a brush or a comb that she really mm-hmm. liked. And how right. the, the whole idea was when she used the brush, because she also yeah. used a brush, it brought back memories of her childhood. Okay, right. fine. So Heathcliff uh, went, uh, of course, you know, he got to be him. Right, and right. So he tells a story about how she liked a beret, how Claire liked a beret in junior high, how she wore it all the time. And he went on and on and on. And so Claire calls himself busting him, said that was not, I didn't like that. Her, whatever, whoever her nemesis in that, that light clip, she's like, that's what such and such like. Now I oh. did it. And so she's going off. Oh. If you had paid attention, I liked a green bangle bracelet. And what happened while she's talking, she's not paying attention. She's right. waving the green bangle <laughs> bracelet. <laughs> so, he, so he set her up. She fell sure. for him. I understand. But but I'm saying sure. that in that in that concretization, in that example, these three brothers really sat down and thought about how they were going to demonstrate their sure. love uh, uh. for uh, for their wives, and and the result was their wives were googly eyed. I understand. Yeah, their heart, hearts was hearts sure. were bubbling oh. over with love. Mm-hmm. Now. I say that to say, imagine how God would feel if our discipleship, our stewardship, Mm -hmm. our faith, our love, Mm -hmm. our commitment, our trust was, we put that kind of energy into it. Yeah, so it's him, yeah. So, so, so here it is. You may not have to preach on Sunday like I do, Sean. You right. may be teaching the Sunday school class. But imagine how God would bless you if you treated teaching the Sunday school class like right. I treat preaching. I understand. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. You know, Sister Carol, you, you, you may not be teaching Bible study, but you may be working some other aspect of ministry imagine how god would feel if he saw you doing giving yeah. your all in that aspect of ministry i'm saying that to us 
because if we are truly grateful, we will sow bountifully. Amen. Amen. I believe that, yes. Again, you show God how much you appreciate what he's done by how you treat him. Amen. And I know I've taken an abundant amount of time, but I think this issue is so central, so key to the disciple and the steward's well-being that it was necessary to take this kind of time. And, and, and I thank you, Pastor. Seriously, thank you. Yeah, yeah. It yeah, is but- be, because I believe there are people out here that think they're getting into heaven with their mm-hmm. tides. And God's going to say, you didn't show me you love me. Right. I know. Sure. Here's another one. I th- There are people that do give the correct tithe, but they give it like, oh, Jesus, here they <laughs> go again asking me for money. I know. Why can't they just be happy yeah. the last time? In other yeah. words, that's compulsion. You're feeling compelled to give it. Yeah, I love it. So that, that's like not giving anything at all, no. under giving. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. You shouldn't feel manipulated, compelled. Yeah, or, or, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah uh, or, 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 or there was another word, not manipulated, compelled, good, but you shouldn't feel obligated mm-hmm. because of because of what someone else, how someone thinks or feels in your giving. Yeah, I appreciate yeah. You should give because you want to give. Uh, and you should give, uh, uh, again, you shouldn't give reluctantly. You should give because you want to give. And last but not least, mm-hmm. it ain't your money that you're giving. It's God's. I think I said it before, but let me reiterate it. It's God's. It ain't your money. Right. <laughs> it ain't yeah. your money. Get over that. <laughs> that is the most selfish, narcissistic thing I can imagine. Yeah. It ain't yeah. your money. Not, 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 nothing that we have is ours. It's on loan from God. Mm-hmm. And if you don't, if you do not believe me, try this. Mm-hmm. Test God and see if you don't come have someone take it all back from you. Right. Yes, sir. Be sure. sitting on the street wondering where, where and how you lost everything. <laughs> sure. sure. Trust God. Lord Jesus, thank you, Lord. That we dealt with this morning in Inspirational Wednesdays for our devotional, Anias and Sapphira. Mm-hmm. how they held back proceeds right and, so, and i know someone there was like but pastor al that was their house no it was god's house mm-hmm. and god's requirement upon everyone that was part of his church his mm-hmm. body was that no one owned anything individually that we own everything together and right. that that way we can meet everyone's need sure. Sure. and they were trying to hold back trying to lie to god right that's right yeah, he fixed them. What happened? Right. They died. That's right. Instantly. Mm-hmm. Y'all better be glad God don't do that to some of us when we turn in that $10, $15, $20 tie. I hear you. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Service would be a whole lot different because folks would be falling like 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 flies. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Sister Carol, I hope they I, I hope we never have to get there, but you know. Yeah, experience that. You're right. I agree. But it, it is what it is. Yes, Lord. Jesus, thank mm. you. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Any other questions you have, Brother Sean? Amen. No, I think my wife has one. Good, good, good. Amen. Now we can get to some real. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm teasing. I'm teasing. I'm teasing. I'm teasing. I'm teasing. No? Well, let me just Uh-oh. say this about uh, before we go on. Cleflo Dollar thing. He okay. was saying, don't tithe anymore. That's why it got to be such a controversy. What's the reason? He, huh, don't Did tithe he, Yeah, anymore. no, but he, what was the reason he gave? Did he give a reason why? He said he had a new understanding of what the Bible Oh, a new saying. understanding, okay. Yeah. So that was why it was everywhere. But you had all pastors um, talking about that mm-hmm. because it would impact the church because right. I'm going to say for me too and I've had that question settled in my heart and spirit decades to be honest mm-hmm. but it does make you re-examine yourself about that 
Sean never wavered. But for me, I have to admit, I had to think about it, what he was saying in everywhere else. But anyway, we can move on. That's all right. Got shaky. Well, yeah, I got shaky. But I mean, nothing passed. I mean, it's only like three weeks ago. And I know right. Pastor were on vacation. So I said, oh, maybe you don't even know. No, I, I, I didn't. I, I did. I disconnected while I was gone while on vacation. I, in, in fact, this is the first time I've totally disconnected. Okay, um, good. Um, I, I didn't check email. Good. Yeah, uh, I, know, I, know. I know. Vacation, it should be yeah, vacation. Yeah. You did, you yeah. Found it. But that's fine. <laughs> okay. Um, over the weekend, Sean has a, a friend he used to work with for quite a few years, and they kept in touch. And he came over, he and his wife came over mm -hmm. Saturday. And they are Jehovah's Witness. Mm -hmm. You probably know where I'm going a little bit, I think. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And um, one of the things when she's talking to us, um, I have to say, I have to commend both of them. Mm -hmm. They are very well trained in the scripture from their perspective. Mm -hmm. They were very articulate, mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> concise, mm -hmm. and um, clear mm -hmm. on what they were saying. Anybody could understand it. And they could have been very persuasive mm -hmm. if I didn't, if we didn't know where we stood. Now, one of the things that they were saying is that they can go anywhere in the world mm -hmm. and they will all be on the same, right. same lesson. Mm -hmm. So they will all be teaching thing and this and this and that, and they wouldn't lose anything. And, and um, a lot of us Christian churches, we, um, we can't do that. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yeah. Um, average person could not converse with what they were talking about. I'm telling you. Well, well, so let, hmm? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. Go ahead. No, no I want to listen to you. Okay. okay. Very basic stuff. I know a lot of people that don't know a lot of things. Mm -hmm. well, but, well, but there is a part two on this, but. Okay. All right, so, so so let me deal with the part one. You can give me the part two in a second. Part one. Yeah, we, we can do like that. We can make it so that no matter where you go in this world, Christians um, are on the same page. They're, they're able to do that because they're using what is called a lectionary. Different denominations use different lectionaries. Now, typically... Uh, Protestants and, and I mean I mean Lutherans mm -hmm. and Presbyterians will typically rely upon the Catholic lectionary. Mm -hmm. You know, in recent years, the Methodist Church has been creating its own uh, mm -hmm. lectionary, but it's designed so that if nothing else, if if pastors are having a hard time coming up. What, whatever they're supposed to preach about or teach about on Sunday mornings, they could always open up this lectionary and then they would be on task, on point with everybody, every other pastor and every other church that is also following the lectionary. Okay, so that's the first thing. We can, we just, here at First Fellowship, I don't use a lectionary because I, and, and it's not that I don't think that spirit wasn't there when they created the lectionary, my 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 concern is how is electionary applicable to where we are? Mm -hmm. Like like for example, at, at First Fellowship, um it is imperative that we begin understanding that because of our size, we don't have the luxury of not uh participating we don't have that luxury and in fact i think i shared it with you uh, uh some sundays ago it was in june that i had gone to lunch with some pastors of comparable size they're not big churches mm -hmm. they, they also have about 30 40 people attending worship on sunday mornings 
But here's the thing. They are nowhere where we are. They are miles ahead of us. You want to know why? Because no one has to browbeat them to come to church. No one has to browbeat them. To they, they, Some of their singers are also ushers. You know, mm -hmm. some of their ushers are also deacons. Right. Some of their deacons are also, they call them uh, uh, trustees. We call them directors. Mm -hmm. No, no one has to browbeat anyone to get anything done because they realize that if they all agree to start this church, then, are, then they are all called to do whatever it needs and whatever needs to be done to get the church going and keep it running. Mm -hmm. Oh, not us. Pastor, let me tell you, I preached first Sunday three months ago. Mm -hmm. I sung last month on second Sunday. I'm not going to sing until. Yes, Pass it. I, it's all I can do just to get here. <laughs> I, I don't know if I can facilitate Bible uh, 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 Sunday school. Mm -hmm. the, the, these are the excuses we're giving. Well, Pastor, I already have a position. Why do I need to? because we're not big enough for you to just have one position <laughs> yeah. and so I, I I say all that to say come back to what Carol is saying one of the things that I'm really impressed with with Jehovah Witnesses is that everyone has a position to play one position to play Mm -hmm. Many times that position is simply to go witness. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. And before they send anyone out to witness, they go through a training, an intense yeah. training. Right, right, right. Now, now they don't rely on every scripture that we rely on the Bible. They only rely on the ones that, right, that, right. that further their their, sure. their 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 doctrine, their, their right. polity. Mm -hmm. Um, but what they have learned is that the average Christian does not study at all. Right, right, right. 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 Okay. So, so I, so back, back to what I was saying. We Bible study, it should be so packed in Bible study. So many of us should be there, but we're not. And we don't show up. We think that all I need is a 30 minute sermon on Sunday. And I'm good to go. Yeah. And y'all don't know how much that constrains me to get to stay within 30 minutes. Because <laughs> I feel like you're being cheated. Right, right, right. And 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 and, and here's the thing. I get it that people mm -hmm. don't want to sit, but I, I find it funny that guess what? Uh right. when when Lauren Hill came to Charlotte not too long ago. Folks waited for five hours for her to get there to do her show, and she still did a ninety-minute, two-hour, two-hour. <laughs> so that meant you you waited seven hours. That's a work job. That's a work day. But right. yes, sir. Because if you add another hour for lunch, that's a work day. Right. You you sat there and you waited, did not move. Right. Because guess what? You paid your money to come see her. You feel you're gonna lose out or something. Right. All you paid for her was a, was to anesthetize you for for an hour and a half, two hours. Right, right. I she didn't do anything for you. That's right. Folk, mm -hmm. you know, you know, folks don't want to sit here through Sunday school to learn about God because mm -hmm. guess what? Sunday school is 35, 40 minutes, but mm -hmm. you'll sit there and you'll binge an entire season mm -hmm. in one sitting. That ain't done anything for you. Mm -hmm. And and Jehovah Witnesses know this. And mm -hmm. so what they realize, they only need to know more than you do, which is anything. Yeah. <laughs> is anything and, and so what happens when you come, when they come, you aren't ready to talk to them because you don't know enough Bible to talk to them. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. here's, the, here's the thing. And, and this is not a diss to any Jehovah Witness, because they, they're, they're, they're my bro they are my brothers and sisters. But yeah. since we know they don't use the whole Bible, they're already starting off handicapped. Right. Because mm -hmm. there's a certain part of the Bible they, they won't even look at. Mm -hmm. But guess what? If you ain't looking at them, you don't know that the answer to their questions or the responses are in those parts of the Bible. 
And, and so what happens because we ain't prepared for them. Here you got mama making everyone crawl through the house because you don't want uh, <laughs> them to see you there. They know that you home. Man, yeah. let me tell you. <laughs> crawl, crawl through the house. Yeah, yeah. I can't crawl through the house because you don't. Mama don't want to talk to them. Let yeah. me tell you. In my neighborhood, mm-hmm. in my neighborhood, yes, they don't come by my house. Mm-hmm. You want to know why they don't come by my house? Because the last time they came by my house, they lost members. Mm-hmm. They what? They lost members. Okay. <laughs> because, because when they came trying to hit me with that, I hit them with what the word is. I understand. Yes, sir. And so guess what? I noticed they do a polite around about my house. <laughs> They'll stop at every door but my house. It's almost like they have labeled, they, they've sent an email out. Do not stop at 321 Barclay Drive because that dude there is not playing. I, I'm like, come on in, let's talk. Uh-huh. They don't do that anymore. Mm-hmm. Anymore. Yes, sir. Amen. But guess what? I'm, well, able, to, I'm able to talk to them sure. because I spend time studying my work. I understand. Yes, sir. You know, they, they can't just run any, any anything by me because, again, I know my word. Sure. Mm-hmm. See, I, 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 can, I can take them to Galatians and I can take them to Thessalonica, the Thessalonians, and I can take them uh, 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 to First uh, Corinthians, where Paul was talking about all these other doctrines that are coming against the doctrine of Christ. Okay. And how, if it doesn't line up with this doctrine, it's heresy. Mm-hmm. Right. I can do that. Right. But most of us can't because we don't right. study. And so, again, I give them credit because yes. they're doing what many of us will not do. do yeah. Study. But mm-hmm. Uh, Sister Carol, we could all be on the same page if we all got on the same page. The problem is we don't want to be on the same page. But right. guess what? I don't like the way the Presbyterians worship. Mm-hmm. Oh. They, 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 they pray They pray with their eyes open. I, I believe you got to pray with your eyes closed, but the Lutherans want to pray with me because they believe that it's got to be in this way. The Catholics <laughs> definitely don't want to worship with me because the Catholics believe that if I don't uh, honor all these saints over here that I'm not even praying correctly. Well, mm-hmm. well, let me say this. Uh-huh. I admit that about they're all on one accord with what they study. I personally, because I knew about this years ago, decades ago, I personally think it's because they don't want the truth to come into their hearts by going That's to true. churches or to be exposed mm-hmm to the true gospel. Mm-hmm. So they keep everybody right there mm-hmm. so they can have a captive audience to know what's being taught. That's mm-hmm. just my opinion mm-hmm. on that. Oh, oh absolutely. Absolutely. It, it, and I believe many of the doctrines that they teach that they teach have been misinterpreted, misquoted, and and, mm-hmm. and misused um, and whatnot. But that's not to say that we don't have the same problem. Mm-hmm here in, 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 in our church, in other churches and whatnot. I, but I, I'm just saying that to say, yes, their willingness to proselytize, to testify, to witness is impressive. It is impressive because good, they'll get out there in 100 and 105 degree heat and be knocking on doors. And then here, here it is, I, I can't get you to come down to church uh, to just simply uh, fill envelopes in the air condition you know right. what I'm saying? And, and they're out in the, in the in the in the in the heat of the day uh right. doing that so so it is something to be they are to be commended so, um but everything they're doing we could do it too mm-hmm. we, we just we, we just need persons that are not just not only faithful but committed mm-hmm. to being like yeah, that. yeah. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and and really, Sister Carol, because I, I want to hear your part too. But really, Sister Carol, uh, how they are is how God has really required all of us to be. If you go get the Old Testament, New Testament, all of us should be that willing to go testify about God. We just we just have treated church and God as is, as as a side piece, as a side hobby. Whenever we have time to get around to Him, mm-hmm. right. 
What's yeah. what's your part two, Carol? Well, to me, I didn't finish part one yet. Oh, okay. Go ahead and finish part one then. I'm sorry. Definitely going to need more than five minutes or so. But okay. on that one, um, I guess you were saying something. I didn't want to interrupt you. Um, yes, you are correct and that all of us as Christians, because the Lord told us to go mm -hmm. and um, what is it, preach, yeah. make disciples. That the Lord, Lord, and the, the for some reason, I right. can't pull up the scripture now. Go ye on to world. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's that's, a, that's Matthew 28, 18, 19, and 20. I don't know why I can't um, <laughs> it's all right. Um, it's all right. Make disciples, go you there for until Matthew 28, Pastor, you said? Yeah, Matthew 28, 8 verses 18, 19, and 20. Okay, thank you. Matthew verses. But see, they they are doing that like by law. Uh, mm -hmm. That do it to be saved. And Sean asked them point blank mm -hmm. because they were going all around it. He says, are you saying if you're not Jehovah's Witness, you're not saved? And they responded, we didn't say it. The scripture said it. And I said, uh oh, see, I, I didn't know that. So they feel unless you are a Jehovah's Witness, mm -hmm. you're not saved. So I guess I asked them, Christ died 2,000 years ago. I know Jehovah's Witness didn't come into being until at least 200 years mm -hmm. ago. That's right. Happened to all those 1,800 yes, yes, right, years. Right, yeah. right. I think I got a direct response. I don't recall. Yeah, <laughs> I don't remember what she said. She said, um, but anyway, they're saying unless you're Jehovah's Witness, you're not saved because we're not following what Christ said about making witnesses. Mm -hmm. You know, cycling, doing what they're doing. And because we're not doing that, no other denomination mostly are doing that. We are the lost ones. That's in essence what she was saying. Was was she was she is wrong? Clearly oh, I, wrong. I, I, I know you know it because the word says if you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that he is Lord to the glory of God, you are saved. That that that, that that's what Paul deals with in Corinthians, Thessalonians, um, um, uh, not Philippians, Galatians, all these persons coming and trying to give some other instruction other than that instruction. Mm -hmm. Because here's the thing. The truth is you and I really don't make disciples. Mm -hmm. we, right. we teach others what Christ Jesus has taught us. In the process, God moves upon those person's hearts mm -hmm. and then they commit to being God's disciples. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, 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 if, 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 if I deem you a disciple, then your loyalty is not to God, it's to me. Mm. And we know how far that goes. It only goes as far as you like me. So when you stop liking me, you stop being loyal to me, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. you know? So, so I get, and I say that cause I don't want us to, uh, to, to misunderstand. We are called to make disciples. But make the the one who really makes the disciples is Jesus, is God. Mm -hmm. We're called to teach them what he taught us. And in the process, the hope is the Holy Spirit moves upon well, them and they mm -hmm. become disciples. Mm -hmm. But here's the thing. You and I have worked hard on trying to help someone become a disciple. Mm -hmm. I mean, let's be for real. We probably going to go to our graves with there being one or two people that no matter how hard we work, would not give themselves to Christ. Amen. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, according to the Jehovah Witnesses, that means all our work was in vain. We died and we're going to hell because guess what? They didn't become disciples. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, there is no hell there either. Yeah, yeah but, but 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 you get one of my point. Yeah. You know, my, my, my point is if you listen to them, because a person didn't become a quote unquote disciple, yeah. 
during our lifetime, we 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 didn't serve yeah. God. We 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 weren't saved. And and, and, and so that's BS. Because mm-hmm. let's be for real, some of you are hard nuts to crack, Sean. I beg your pardon. Oh, hey, man, I try. <laughs> I, 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 I try, I try, and I try. And but I some of you are hard nuts to crack. Yes, Thanks, sir. And, 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 and guess what? Yeah. I ain't losing no sleep because you. you a hard nut. Mm-hmm. You're right. I hear you. Mm-hmm. In fact, maybe what God is showing me, telling me is that it ain't my job to crack you. Mm-hmm. Maybe somebody else's job. Right. Yeah, Maybe yeah, my yeah. job is to start is is to set you in water, let your let your 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 shell soft. Shell soft. I understand. Yes. Sir. Maybe my job is to simply pick you off the tree. Yeah, that's right. I hear you. you no. Know? Maybe my job is to screw together the the nut cracking. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. Maybe my job is to go get the bowl so that yeah. after then someone else crack you, we can put you in the bowl and that's keep right, you safe from, from the elements. Surely. You know, may, maybe my job is to present you once you're in the bowl to God. I don't, right. but guess what? Just because you didn't give yourself to Christ during my lifetime doesn't mean I that, failed. That's very true. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, 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 let's, yeah. Be, let's be for real. People mm-hmm. are giving themselves to Christ because of what Paul has said. Mm-hmm. And he'd been dead a long time ago. Jesus, thank you. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so, <laughs> so, so, so we if we use that philosophy, then yeah. Paul's in trouble because yes, that's what all of us who weren't born to thousands of years later didn't give ourselves to Christ a thousand years later, so he ain't done nothing. That's that right. <laughs> the devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. That's why I said they won't come to my house because mm-hmm. again, I, I know the word. Right, I understand. And, I, and I'm 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 ready. I stay ready. I stay ready. Hey, 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 hey. let me tell you, I, I sit on my porch with candy and and, and cookies and other treats, trying to. <laughs> Trying to trip them into coming into this house so I can proselytize <laughs> them. In cold bars of water on a hot day, right? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Mean, I, 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 stay, I stay loaded. They, they, they know. Hilarious. Don't even look about it. Hey, when they walk by, or ride by on their bikes, don't even look over at me. They're afraid <laughs> to make eye contact with me. Don't even make eye contact. Amen. Praise the Lord. So, uh, I, so I, so I get that. So, what's <laughs> the second part of the question? So I could be working on this for next week. I'm writing this down. Yeah. everything that's going on right now in this world. And, and that's something that you brought up too, and I have brought that perspective. That this is spiritual. Warfare. You know, you know spiritual mm-hmm. warfare sure. with all of that. You sure. know what I'm looking at about here. Okay. Going back to the kingdom of God. Okay. Also work. on the kingdom of God um, that has come. Uh, what is it? Since the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom suffers violence. Yeah. And why is John the Baptist is the kingdom suffering violence? Because and those of John the Baptist's message, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Yeah. John yeah. announcing the kingdom of God um, was invading the kingdom of this world and the kingdom of Satan. Um, that's why violence began to emerge and principalities and dominions and forces were at work because with the grand announcement the kingdom has come, the long-awaited intervention of God into human history has come. The long-awaited promise had arrived. And Jesus picked it up, but not like John, but John was as one crying in the wilderness. Um, well, we know about um, John was the prophecy of Elijah, but the Lord himself says, the kingdom has come, your king has come. Mm-hmm. And that's when the forces, everything started just going, but the world was bad even before the mm-hmm. Lord came, we know that. But here now, it's just like everything is really just stepped up another level of fighting spiritually. I mean, everything, all these governments everywhere, the people are just so hateful. Everything.
saying it just so bad. So I guess Satan is really trying to take over. Maybe he knows the end time is coming. Huh? Maybe he knows the end time is coming. Maybe he got to step up, step up his game. Yeah. Hmm. And this is you say that Jesus was referring to himself, to himself, when he spoke of a strong man breaking into a house, house. and overpowering the strong man. He said the Lord was referring to himself and Satan, and Jesus was referring again to himself as the stronger man. Yes. Well, I I I I disagree there with that. Okay. Well, I want you to. That's why I'm presenting it. Okay. Yeah. Tell me, you know, how you, I'm just telling you what was here. Right, 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 right. I got you. I got yeah. you. Uh, so, 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 um, the devil developed, which is all over the earth, the whole earth. I guess he's saying belongs to mm -hmm. Satan, which I guess it could be true because when Jesus was tempted in the wilderness, he told the Lord to bow down to him and I'll give you oh, all this. of this. So I don't know if somebody bowed down or if <laughs> Satan took it over for himself, but this world is a mess right now. And Pastor, we'll, we'll, we'll take, take you the rest of our question shortly. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's it? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's it okay, okay. And, uh, all right. I, i'll start next week with that question okay okay all right because um i have forgotten about we should be looking at it through the spirit of god mm -hmm. oh did you please it's transparent it, things we see currently that's, that's yeah, going on in the world today. Stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All of this stuff Room, wars, rooms of wars, and things right, of that nature. All yeah. of that. Hmm? Um, anyway, I appreciate it. No problem. Not a problem. I'll start with that one next week. And in the interim, you know, keep thinking of your questions. Do me a favor and make Sean get a notebook when he goes to the store um, this afternoon so he can write his questions down. I want him to use the excuse that he forgot. Uh, amen. <laughs> Praise God. Because I want him one day to be able to ask good questions like you're asking good questions. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh. I, 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 believe, I, I believe he has the potential to do so. Just no one has really brought it out of him yet. And so <laughs> I, I want him to be able to ask good questions like that. He Thank does. You. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. But yeah, you're right. Maybe hey, we'll get him to write him down. Hey, Pastor Al, I get a feeling too, but it's all <laughs> it's okay. You know what, sir? You but know, sir, I, yeah. I I I play with you because I love you, and, and and I play with you because I know you can take it and handle it. Praise the Lord, Amen. Thank yeah, you, sir. If, if, you know, hey. if if I thought you couldn't, I wouldn't play with you. And plus, no, I appreciate. It. Thank you, sir. Your, your, your both of you, both of you. Uh, your walks say more to me than anything else, and so you both, both of you, uh, I'm not worried. I know you have great questions, and I know Sister Carol is just protecting her honey because that's her honey. Don't know if, if, if don't nobody else protect them, she gonna protect her honey. Amen. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Oh Lord Jesus, thank you. Respect you, Pastor, and um. Love Amen. So, Thank you, sir. Amen. You know, oh boy. That's why I want to do everything <laughs> I hear or I think about. I want to bring it to you for Amen. Praise God. afterwards to get the quote unquote right to our perspective. Amen. On. Thank you, sir. So, <laughs> Praise God. Sister Carol, one more thing before we close out Bible study. I just want to let you know this. Brother Sean said on Sunday that we could do Bible study from your house next week. So I'll, I'll be there in your lobby. I mean, your, 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 your den having Bible study. But I want to know your husband invited me over. So if he didn't have permission, don't fuss at me. Open the door. Fuss at Brother Sean. Amen. Doing it in the bus, huh? All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are are there any names that we want to add to the prayer list today? For you know, no, everybody's on there. Okay. Joyce and <laughs> everybody's on there, huh? Hey, yeah, hey, yeah, everybody's yeah. on there. We know. Right now. Hey, I said, yeah. Um, oh, Carolyn Byers. Okay. On there, okay. Carolyn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Byers. B Y A R S. 
She got esophagus problems okay. and, um, and um, brain, really. You said Brian? Oh, no, she had brain um, concerns okay. and esophagus. Okay. That's two it's issues it's she's dealing with. Okay. Okay. Jesus, thank you. Thank I, you. I, will, I will make sure it's her name's on there. Thank you, right. Let us go to God in prayer. Dear yes, Father Lord. God, thank you for blessing us. Thank you for keeping us. Thank you for doing for us what we cannot do for ourselves. God, that's pro protecting, providing, caring for, guiding, directing, edifying, empowering, equipping, loving, forgiving, uh, extending, uh, caring, uh, sustaining, God. Well, we really don't have enough time and enough breath in our body to really reflect on all the things that you're right. doing, doing. But we know that thank you, Jesus, thank is you. enough, God, to demonstrate our gratefulness and our love for you. Thank you, Jesus, for not forgetting about us. Thank you, Jesus, for not abandoning, abandoning mm -hmm. us. Thank you, Jesus, for not leaving us by the roadside. Thank you, Jesus, for not letting the, the, the ordinary yes, trials and tribulations of life kill us. Thank you, Jesus, for ensuring that we have everything we need so that we can be here today to worship you in spirit and truth. Father yes, God, we pray for those who are on the sick and shut in list. Most specifically, Carolyn Byers, God, with her health-related issues. God, we pray that you be such a God that not only do you deal with the ones we know about, you deal with the ones we don't know about, so that when we see the sister, she's a living witness about your grace, your goodness, and your mercy. Father God, we pray a special prayer over brother and sister uh, Jones here today. God, we pray that you love on them, God. Protect them, keep them, watch over them, God. Enable them them to to live the fullness of your grace and mercy we pray for our church family god we pray that you bless our church family that you watch over our church family that you keep our church family god we pray for our own individual families that god, our families no matter where they reach no matter where they go that god you'll let them uh understand who they belong to who yes, they are so that God, they may continue to serve you with grace, honor, and mercy. Father God, last but not least, we pray, God, you keep us. Please, Watch Lord. over and protect us. Even though yes. we're going to leave this Bible, mm -hmm. study, please, please make sure you. that we're able to return here in another seven days and worship you, God, in spirit and in truth. Yes. It's in your son's mighty, matchless, marvelous, magnificent name Jesus. that we pray. Amen. 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 Well, I, I, appreciate, I appreciate this chance to fellowship with you, uh, Sister Carol, yeah. and, and with you two brothers, Sean. Hey, you're welcome. You're welcome. I, hey, Lord willing, the creek don't rise. I'll see you on Sunday. Yes, sir. Hey. Praise the Lord. Yes, sir. Take care of Amen. Yourself. All right. Do the same, okay? Bye-bye now. Take care. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.